Hello everyone and welcome back to Geiselsberg. It has been a little while, to be perfectly honest. But today we do have one big job to do and that is to get Field 44 planted with canola. So, we need to get a cedar. I want to have a look at what we've got in the Vicon pack. Because I... no, there's no cedars. Okay, so that was, that was quick. Uh, let's check Convernland. There we go. So there are some cedars in here. Nice big cedars. And what's the horsepower of this beast? 240. Okay, so we've got this guy here, 9 meters. Oh, but that's a planter. That's a planter. That's a sprayer. So we've got this cedar here, which is 6. Which requires more horsepower. Oh, it'll do direct drill. But we don't need direct drill. This one does direct drill as well. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lease this for today. Uh, now, I don't remember if we have any seed at the yard. So I will just check that quickly before we leave because we may have to buy some seed. Uh, if we do have to buy some seed, what I'll do is I'll buy it, and of course we'll just magically reappear down at the farm anyway, no matter what is required. So, let me have a quick check, and uh, I'll see you down at the farm. Okay, so I've just dragged some seed out of the shed. I'm going to get filled back up. Should be enough here, I hope. That's what I'm hoping, at least. But we will have to see we need more, I can always go and buy some more. But for now, let's get that seed changed over to canola. We will just double check 100% that it is the correct time of year to be doing canola because I do not want to be completely screwed over. So, let's have a look. I was just checking on the animals. Everyone's looking good. We've got a good amount of milk. We've got some some males here. Um, we've got our airshares as well. Who are still not fertile. But the Holsteins, they are good. The sailors, I think we're keeping those just for now. Anyway, uh, no, I do want that menu. <laughs> so, canola can be sown, but it needs to be 11 degrees. Ooh, ooh, this is not good. Okay, well, it should get just that little bit warmer. So I suggest then we turn that off. And we head over here. No, go away. All of you, go away. <laughs> head over here. And what we can do is we can lime that field. The field needs liming, and then we're going to move on to the job we were supposed to finish with last time, but didn't have enough time, which is windrowing. We were going to windrow the field, but yeah, didn't do it. So, don't have able spray rate on, so we could consume this rather quickly, we'll have to see. Luckily though, this field isn't too big, and if we get a little bit on the other field, not a big deal. As it's a nice small field, it shouldn't take long, and it shouldn't uh, require that much lime, I hope. This is the last of the lime. I bought lime at the very, very start of this series, and this is the last of it now. Um, I am debating at the moment <coughs> whether to finish this series at the end of the year, the current in-game year, or whether to do another year. Of course, we're about to plant canola, so it would be nice if we could actually reap the rewards of our canola. But, then again, we don't have to. I am driving in the farmer's crop. I know this is the realistic series, so I shouldn't really be doing that. And we just sprayed their crop as well. Well, free lime for them. Then again, we could actually make the pH worse by... Uh, putting lime on their crop if they don't need it, 
And anyway, I'm I'm waffling. So yeah, I don't know which is going to be the best thing to do. Whether I should move to another map, in which case I would continue seasons and we take all the money we have here, or whether I should start uh, stay for another year. In which case we'll still move afterwards. But if we stay for another year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this series to two episodes a week. Reason being, I had I was struggling before my holiday to be able to manage all of my series at the same time and I think I've lost motivation with Stone Valley just because the size of the fields I think now now that I'm reflecting on the series I think an American map on a single player needs to be done on seasons because you're just spe you spend so much time doing the same fields. You know, it takes, uh, I think I'm pretty sure I've said it in Stone Valley, it takes a long time to do anything on a field, harvest, plow, cultivate, whatever, even if you've got bigger machinery. And then because of the way the game mechanism works, even on a slow growth, you need to harvest, you need to repeat the cycle again after three, four in-game days. It's just too much for one person, to be honest. In seasons, I think it would be manageable. So, yeah, I've lost motivation a little with Stone Valley, which is unfortunate, because it is a really nice map, and I do enjoy the series. Because of that, I think if we do another year, I will switch this up to two episodes a week, and Stone Valley to one. Because I really enjoy doing this series. I think more... I enjoyed Ireland just as much, but I, th I enjoy this series more than I enjoy Stone Valley. And it's because of the seasons aspect, I think. I do really enjoy the seasons aspect of the game. Now I can see we're about to run out of lime. I really should have put the variable spray mod on. It's very silly of me to not have done Oh no, turn off. If we're going to crash, at least uh, don't be emptying the back of the... Oops. Don't be emptying the limer. Limer? It's my new word. Right, and again. I'm making a real mess here. I don't think we're going to have enough to do the entire row. But if we've got a bit of the crop that needs a bit of lime and the rest doesn't, that's okay. I can survive. At least we'll get as much done as possible. Maybe all of it, I'm not sure. But I just have a sneaking suspicion we won't get it all done. Okay, so that is us empty. We will have to buy some more lime for next year. Uh, there's no urgency for this year, I don't think. And if we take a quick check of the field, you will see, yeah, just two small patches. It's okay. The best of the fields are good. No need to worry about that. And I'm still on times one. I think I am breaking my own rules. So let's go to times 15, because we're not doing field work right now. I'm not sure why, I think it was times 1 because I was doing some stuff off camera, and I was trying not to have too much time progression, and I completely forgot to put it back on. Okay, so, let's get all of this cleaned up, because it is pretty, pretty filthy. Then we need to look at milk selling. Um, I think 
If we can, we should sell some. Not sure if we can though. Not sure if the price is good enough, to be honest. Look at that, the line came straight off and it left the dirt. It's very cool. Same on this one? Yeah. Exactly the same. All right, let's get you clean. You are going to do some more work today, but uh, at least we can clean off all that dirt and all that lime. You're not going to be used again this year, so you can have a really good clean. Yes, you can. There we go. So as he's not going to be used again, I think I should maybe try and find a different place to put him. I'm thinking maybe even just leaving it outside. Um, oops. Whoop, 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 whoop. I meant to turn, but not that quickly. Honestly, you would never ever know that I can actually drive pretty well in real life. And in ETS 2, I can also reverse things from inside the cab. No third person view, and I can do it very, very easily. Never guessed that, would you? Based on my skills in farming simulator. Right, so this is ours as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this in here. Right. Let's hop out and get uncoupled. Perfect. Now we need to grab a windrow. Uh, wind rower. Don't know what a wind row is. So in here, that's our tedder. I'm in the wrong shed. The wind rower is in the other shed. Oh, that was a bit of a smack. <coughs> And with this hay, we are going to make bales. Ugh. Doing a really, really poor job today of driving. So as well as doing more episodes on here, I'm thinking of making the episodes a bit more tightly controlled in terms of time. I always have a time that I like to try and keep the episode to. It's difficult when you're recording them to get to an exact number, but it is possible to get to something. So, you know, something pretty close to the mark. Today, you'll notice that I'm talking a lot. And when I talk a lot, it makes it easier. Time lapses, I'll be honest, time lapses and pausing because I need to do something, they are what cause issues. So we're going to whip around the edges. Yes we are. And as I've been away, drop some comments in the comments section and just let me know how everyone is, how everyone's doing. Has anybody else been away? Any, uh, any major news? What's, what's going on, basically? Here it is uh, warm. It is warm is the only word I can use. It is pretty warm, especially with the PC on, and right now I've got the door closed. I don't know why I closed the patio door. Um, very bad mistake, because now I am honestly cooking. So I will have to uh, have to go and open that in a moment. But yeah, nothing interesting has been happening with me. That's the the way the world works at the moment. There isn't much interesting happening for anyone. But uh, if anyone's got any news, anything exciting has happened, uh, if you've had your test results from school, that's a good point. And yeah, leave a note in the comment and say how it's going. 
as well as this, time should be times five now that I'm working, and um, I was going to say, I now have a Discord server. Whoop, whoop. So, I will leave the link in the description. Um, there will also, of course, be a link on my About Me page. It's already there. And you can join and say hello to us whenever you want. There's a few people in there, a few faces you'll probably recognize from the uh, world of farm sim videos. But yeah, come and join us and you can see what's going on, any information about videos and things like that, and you can just generally have a chat with people. Everyone in there is very nice. Nobody's gonna bite you. Nobody bites. Don't worry about that. Not in my server anyway. I probably should have done a server a while ago, but uh, I was waiting until I had more subscribers. We are currently, I think, 76 at my time of recording this. So... We're not actually far away from 100. But honestly, I'm not... Uh, I'm not going to push the 100 subscribers thing. 100 subscribers is of course a really cool milestone to achieve, but um, there are bigger numbers. There are many, many things that I shouldn't think I should do to improve the channel. So for me, 100 subscribers just means there's people who like the stuff and who are actually watching, which is always good doesn't mean I can get complacent and stop working hard, I mean, on the videos. Definitely can't stop working. That's not going to happen, unfortunately. Right, how are we doing with time? Time's five, and it's four o'clock. We can only run a worker for an hour. Hmm. So, okay, I think I'll get this headland done, and then I'm going to have to go and get the worker started because it would be good if the worker could start, even if the temperature is a little bit off. Pretty sure it just means it won't germinate until the temperature is correct, which hopefully should just be tomorrow. So, we will start doing some up and down rows in a minute, but like I said, first of all, I'm going to go and stick that worker so let's hop out of here. Luckily, he's rather close to me. There we go. So let's unfold this guy. This is a very, very cool looking cedar. I didn't see if there were any options actually. We should check again. <laughs> I kind of just went, oh, that looks good. I'll take it. Options? No, there are no options. That'll be why. Right, uh, let's have a look. Turn that off. We need a course. Field work. No, it's, uh, yeah, this one. Course generation with field work in 44. Headland. Two passes, clockwise. Turn. Okay, there's no islands. So we're starting from here. Ah, no, start working on up down rows first. Right, so we're st starting along the bottom. Okay. That's not a bother. This is a rather large machine. I like it. And I just hope that this guy doesn't have any problems pulling it. I'm hopeful, but I'm not certain. <clears throat> okay, let's start course at first waypoint, drive. There we go. 
Wow. Got a serious bit of wheel slip there. Of course, the uphill part is going to be more difficult, I expect. Downhill should be nice and easy. Right. Let's get out of the way of that. Uh, let me just pop up the rules a moment. Do, 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 do. So, you can see, we can only have the worker until 5 o'clock, so we haven't got very long left with this worker. Um, but we will see what happens. How are we doing on objectives? 30 cattle, buy field 32, buy a class combine, buy field 56, buy a pig farm and have 20 pigs. So number one was have 30 cattle. How are we doing with that? Because we've got a few now. 22, and they are still breeding. So we might have 30 naturally quite soon. Uh, plus I need to replace the male cows that I sold. They weren't sailors, they were the other one. Can't remember what it was called. But yeah, we're going to need to replace those guys with some new cows that we can fatten. So, get this guy down and on. And away we go again. So, it looks like there is a decent amount here. Um, you know, it's not going to be enough to make us rich, but good enough. And I also remembered that rather than setting a crop contract for us this year, I actually set a straw bale contract. So we have a delivery of straw bales to complete if we want to. So what we can do with the wheat field the, in the unnumbered field is we can bale those up and I think the contract was for 30. Based on how many we got previously that shouldn't be an issue. We got quite a few from field 44 and 43. So but I think those crops, uh, when I checked the values in the crop file, pretty sure they were based on barley. The straw amount was the, the straw and the crop yield was the same as barley. And barley has a higher straw yield and slightly lower crop yield than wheat. So it could be that we actually don't get as much as we expected. But it should still be adequate, I hope. 30 bales, if that is correct. I'll check in between episodes. But 30 bales is, of course, 30 times 4, 120,000 litres of straw, basically. It's for a farm down the road. I don't remember what they're going to pay for it. Hopefully more than the shop would. Uh, Otherwise, I made a mistake when I set that contract up. But of course, we don't have to complete that. That contract is kind of a nice to have. It's an option for us. And we have plenty of straw in the barn as well. So much straw left. Uh, they do want bales, but we could always sell the bales we have and then give the cows the loose straw because we've got plenty of bales available as well. You might remember from last time that I basically filled the barn with square bales and then decided to put loose in there as well. I think there's like 240,000 litres uh, loose. Plus about 30 bales, 20 to 30 bales. All of 4,000 litres as well. Because I'm not running variable bale capacity on here. Um, so, still trying to keep an eye on the time. I need to make sure the worker isn't used past five o'clock because it's in my rules. I set them, so I can't cheat. 
even if I did accidentally leave the time on one to start the episode. But that was an accident. There's not very much left here, is there? Which is good. Um, I don't think it's due to rain. Let's have a quick check. Weather. It's not due to rain until next Tuesday. So we do have a bit of time, actually. To get this stuff collected. We will, of course, get it collected as soon as we can. But if we need to finish the seeding ourselves today and take over from the worker, what it means is we don't have to worry about getting this collected. In fact, getting this collected is not a job for this episode because looking at the recording time so far, I think I've only got five minutes to cut from this, which means, yeah, we're not going to have enough time to do that at all. This, is, of course, is why people use... Um, time lapses because you can fit more into an episode and you can speed up these boring jobs like I'm currently doing but of course I've found ways to get around that by rambling to you for the last 10 minutes or so which is good for me because it means less editing actually bad for you because it means you have to listen to me you're probably wishing for a time-lapse. There is that wonderful wheat field with some failed crop in there as well. It's funny how it does that. You know, the crop was good all the year through and then all of a sudden, right at the end, it, well, it failed. It's just weird. strange that it would do that. Maybe it's not. I know there are some real farmers who watch my videos. Maybe they can tell me if it's complete nonsense or not that it would do that. To me it just seems a bit strange that it would, you know, fail right at the end. When conditions were good enough for it to grow the whole time and it it's not like it's been really bad weather so it's dried out or anything. Actually, it could be dry. That is a good point. Could be dry. We haven't had rain for a little while. So in fact, let's just put this in the yard. It's almost five o'clock, so it's almost time for me to take over from the worker. Let's go. Here we go. Here's some straw. We've got a couple of straw bales in there. Uh, what's that? Six. Six. We've got 12 hay bales at the moment as well. I'll show you the other straw bales just before we finish, but let's quickly nip over here and we can check the amount of water in the field. So, 8%. Ooh. Now that could be why things are not looking so good. And what was I going to show you? Ah, the straw, yes. Let's hop this way. Next episode, I think we'll try and get some milk sold. Here we go. So here is my castle of bales. Okay, there's definitely more than 30 here. A lot more than I thought. And there, I can tip straw, and then it, I can pick it up from here. And I think there's about 200,000 litres in that. So we've got rather a lot of straw available to us. But it's good, though, that we've got this straw because now we can start padding out the TMR. Before, we were having to use a pure mixture, which is rather expensive. Uh, I've left it on times five because there is still a worker going. And the worker is doing field work, so I think it's fair. Of course, if I was in the tractor and I'd taken and I had just stopped, that would be a different story. My goodness, look at the size of that thing. 
So I think this guy can finish his line, even if it goes over five o'clock. I think, I think he'll be okay. Look at the wheel slip. My goodness. And the wages are going up again. This is chaos with the wages. I don't know why it does that. It's the conflict with something. Maybe course play. See, we've got $212. Dollar. I'm still in dollars. Uh, it's because I did that stream the other day. Right, let's just get him to stop for a moment. There we go. I should cha I'll change that over before the next episode. Uh, so, how much have we had in worker wages? 1500 we've had today. Alright, let's get in here. There we go. So that's back out. And I'll change this now so that you guys can see that I've done it. You can see that it's, it has really been done. And then we'll just quickly check the field status, see how much we've got done. I would say about a third has been planted. Yeah. Considering we've still got the headlands, I, I reckon that's a third. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And join the Discord, as I said. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.